Welcome to video 24. This is where uh, I'll walk you through making your first constructor. Uh, this is a follow on to a series of videos uh, starting with 21. In the last video in 23, um, I took you through the changes to the struct keyword, introduced the class keyword for creating user defined types. And so now let's continue on. So here in line 9 through 12, I showed that we can create a member function that is also tied to um, some data members that live in this class date. And in order to uh, take uh, and create an object from class date, then we have to actually declare some variables of that type. So the class is the blueprint and the variables are the instantiation where we build something from that blueprint. So today is built from class date. So is yesterday and tomorrow. They're different instances of the same type of thing. Okay, so back in video 22, I showed that C language doesn't have a, a good method to enforce the initialization of objects, and especially complex objects. Um, and so that's what we're going to do now. C++ solves this problem by allowing us to create a special member function. And by special, I mean it's got all the same function syntax, except it does not have a return type. And the other requirement is that it shares the same name as the class. So you can see in line 3, this class is called date. You can see in line 9, I'm going to create a member function that has the same name and no return type. And so here, I'm going to declare three parameters. And since I've already got M right here uh, at line five, uh, I'm going to use MM, DD, and YY. And then I'll create a function body. And then I will say M, which is the uh, data member at line five, is equal to the value I'm going to pass in when I call my constructor. And I call my constructor when I actually um, declare my variable. D is going to be equal to DD. Y is going to be equal to YY. OK, now that we've created our constructor, this is actually called a parameter constructor. OK, let's see what happens when we compile. OK, I have a bunch of errors. Uh, error no matching constructor for initialization of date. That's one of the errors. Then I'm going to skip down here. You can see that it, it's uh, the same error for today, yesterday, and tomorrow. But you also see for each one of these, the candidate constructor not viable. It requires three arguments, but zero were provided. And it's looking inside the class and going, hey, you created a constructor that's supposed to take three parameters, but nowhere do I see you call it with three parameters. So that's kind of two things going on. In C++, if we don't provide lines uh, 10 through 15, if we don't provide a named constructor, then C++ provides a constructor for us. It's invisible. It's behind the scenes. And so I'm going to take this out. I'm going to say uh, 6DD. OK, and I got rid of the constructor. And now when I clear the screen and compile, it compiles just fine. Well, that's because there is a constructor that we get for free that C++ does its best to initialize a new class for us when we instantiate it as an object. But how, how would C++ know how to initialize a date like this? Well, it doesn't know. So it just makes its best guess, but you're not going to get a real date. So that's why we need to create our own constructor. So I'll do it again. It's special in that it doesn't have a return type. 
It's special in that it has the exact same name as the class itself. I'm going to ask for three parameters to be passed in. Okay, I'll make the body again. And I'll say the um, member data at line 5, M, is going to get set to whatever I pass in. The member data at line 6, D, is going to get set to whatever I pass in. And the member data at 7, which is Y, is going to be set to whatever, or initialized to whatever I pass in. So we did this before, and we got errors. So what can I change to make sure I call a constructor correctly? And this is what I'm changing. Right after the declaration of today, I'm going to pass it three parameters. And now I'll try and compile. And I get errors again, but notice it starts at yesterday and tomorrow, but I get no complaints about today. So let's go fix those two. And I'll say that uh, yesterday is five, and I'll just calculate yesterday as three minus one. And we know it's 2021. And then tomorrow is May, and I know today is three, so I'll say plus one and 2021. Okay, and let's see if this compiles. And it does. And now, when I print out my dates, you can see that today is correct. At this point, I can just delete all of this extra code. I'll say from uh, 28 to 33, let's just get rid of that. So, okay, let's give this a shot. So now, we have three dates that look valid, but we were able to initialize them at the time we declared them because we created a parameter constructor that gets called every time we create an object. If we wanted to create my birthday object, and I'll just fake my birthday because I don't want to give away information that um, is going to allow me to be compromised. So I'll say I was born on uh, January 1st of 1970, which you know I wasn't. And then I will say uh, I will print my birthday, although it won't say my birthday. Display my date. Okay, so it's going to print the date that's stored in the object, my B day. So let me go compile that and run it. And you can see here how the member function display my date was called by sending a message to the object. Okay, I'll stop here and continue on uh, with some new class concepts in the next video.